did the time for Gangsta Boo. Oh, that's a hundred percent accurate. That's the truth. And you did, and you did the whole that's a fact. Uh, that's like I said. Now since the game that came exposed, and a lot of people see how people get in the courtroom and don't do the opposite of keeping it real. They go in there and, and take plea deals and and give statements and come home early and do all type of fuck shit and and, and give up the whole team and the name because they know how the game go. But when you get in the game and then the shit hit, you still got to take the lick. You can't come forward and then. Get your get your whole team of black guy. When you just keep your mouth closed, you can go home too. You know what I'm saying? You never know how it may turn out. That's a fact. And you did you did 12 years with her brother, right? Yeah, 12 years in the worst place, man. The hardest time down in Mississippi, locked down in the pen, in, man, deep in the penitentiary. You feel me? And this is the brother who allegedly uh, had a overdose the other day. Yeah, her brother Eric Saying Mitchell. That? He was me and him had a uh, robbery charge together on another another other robbery charge. So I had both of the family members, Gangsta Boo, a.k.a. Lola Mitchell, and E. Gutter, a.k.a. E. Gutter, a.k.a. Eric Mitchell. He was my charge partner. He just uh, overdosed the other day, too. Sent my prayers out to him and the family. You know what I mean? Everybody's fucking with him out there. And uh, the whole Mitchell family. You know, his mama, Veronica. You know, brother Terry. Little Terry. You know. It's, it's a sad time for the family, but we're going to pray for everybody and hope everybody turn out for the best. You know, I just wanted to come forward, let my story be told. You know, we was in the process of getting everything going anyway. But, you know, one thing about this situation, I got to let everybody know the story and what the real and is. You just came home. Truth be so told. That's why this has been delayed. I just came home, you know. Home. I had lost my phone. When I was in jail. I was in the process of getting, the, uh, getting everybody to come on the podcast and everything. We was at 730, but, you know, pandemic hit you were in the, her circle uh you yeah you knew in the, in the circle. Much before they blew up right like yo Gotti. yeah the yo Gotti's, the um let me see we had a a whole basically a whole movement we moved to atlanta back in 03 and we had a mixtape called talking cash me her brother drummer boy titty boy yo Gotti, a young ti uh bomb b let me see we had jeezy on there we had shawty red we had young d we had slice t man we had a, a list of up and coming artists that well known right now i'm gonna be going 12 so the industry be doing good to them so you hear some of the names i've been shouting out plus my rp to my other child partner snoot a while i had robert charge with him before he got signed with cmg Shout out to Gotti down there, the CMG, the whole CMG camp. My homeboy, Moneybag, yo, from Walker Home. You know what's up? South Memphis, you know what it is. And yo, Gotti was opening up for uh, Gangsta Boy at the time, right? Yeah, that's when he was getting his start in the game. And everybody noticed in Memphis back then, when the game first opened up, the only people that was really doing something was 3-6 Mafia. So when 3-6 Mafia gave people the opportunity to open up, they did. You know, it kind of pulled that career. Well, a lot of people want to hear your story. Um, oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to drop it to them, man. Just, just part one, part two, man. Just Y'all just stay tuned, man. You see, we got A-Shine coming. We got 730 getting iced up. Shout out to the jewelers, man. We got them jewelers, man. Y'all need the ice. Get up at 730. We got it. You dig? We got the 730 cable. You dig? We got them next five coins. You dig? Plus, we got a whole bunch of more music coming for you. On top of that, you dig? Y'all ain't even heard what I got left in the vault. I got plenty, plenty, plenty of music for you. I'm selling it. I'm featuring on it. I'm making it. We're doing it all. Team Shine. Let's go. Let's uh, end tonight. Tomorrow, this is to be continued. We're going to break down everything tomorrow. The whole untold stories. We're going from topic to topic. Gangsta A to Z. And Team know, Shine. Know, may pop through again. We'll see. Yeah, shout out to the winners, man. We winners over here. I can't wait to see you iced out with that piece, man. You know what I'm talking about? What's going on, everybody? It's DJ BJ. Look at that, AG. We're back with Anim Custom Jury. Here to announce our 2023 giveaway winners for the new year. With a lot oh, of time. Oh, look at it. Looking so shiny. Yeah. So eyes. So now we're going to announce the winners. TJ Banks, 730 Radio, and Ferrari Simmons, we have won our giveaway. Give us with your size. 
We're gonna get that straight to you. Yeah. Next time we're gonna do a couple more pendants. Shout out to the we'll seven thirty radio. They're gonna better, better this up. year. Mm-hmm. Everybody have a happy go. holiday, happy new year. Shout out to my boy AJ the jeweler. You know what I mean? Uh shout, shout out to the guy that icing up the trio, man. man. Good some, things uh, come jewelers. to good people, you heard. Mike the jeweler, he does the grills in there. You know, if you are looking for any jewelry before you go to anybody else, make sure you go to them and let them know 730 oh, yeah. cents. When I so get everything situated, I'm special. definitely gonna get them ice me out, man. New grill all the way across. You did see the room. They know. Ain't no cell block no more. <laughs> but yeah, Gangsta Boo here talks about her ex manager who's right here, and we'll be talking about this tomorrow. Yeah, we can leave him out with a little piece of it. All right, let's see. Mississippi, um, they caught them with the gun. I don't know if y'all watch Verse 48, but my brother got caught up in some crap. Free, I love my brother. I hate that he got even caught up in this, but him and my brother caught a robbery charge because that's what uh, there's a lot of robbery going on in Memphis. I don't know. If so when she says him and her brother, she's talking about her ex manager right here, Team Sean. Y'all watch first 48, but mm-hmm. it's a lot of robbery going on in Memphis. Him and my brother got caught up in some stuff. The 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 police department in Mississippi, um, they caught them with the gun. This is all alleged because this is just one side of the story at the right now, right? One side of the story. They used that gun to match other crimes that were going on in Mississippi. Obviously, him being a smooth criminal. When she says smooth criminal, she's talking about you? Oh, yes. Because they linked that gun that he had robbing that gas station to the Dollar General store. There's two robberies, right, that she's talking about? Exactly, exactly. She was mentioning me and my brother, me and her brother robbery. She ain't mentioned our robbery. So just tap in tomorrow. There's a lot to the story. Should oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's more if I can break down the whole the whole Shabama Bam and, and Bada Bing and let them know what the thing is because there's always two sides to every story. Don't forget that it's the first side, then it's I the knew truth. Him, and Don't I guess he that. asked always oh, the first you know side, me, you cut me truth. off, and you probably just want me in jail type shit. So he told the people I was with him, mm-hmm. and I wasn't, and that's how easy I got charged, like a hundred thousand dollar bond, and people knocking in my ground. So do you know why she got charged? Yeah, she was like I said, she was a willing participant in the robbery. This is why she's sitting up there lunching and flies. But we're gonna go more into the details then because I don't want everybody to get tapped in, then my phone go dead. So y'all just make sure y'all tap back in tomorrow. We're gonna let y'all know the whole scoop piece by piece, piece by piece. Let 7:30 extra questions. I'm gonna deliver. It'll be just like that.